Hello everyone. So this is part two of the PYQ of TSD trains and boats and streams. TSD is time, speed and distance trains and boats and streams, right? So here we'll discuss some more questions of the PYQ, which we have selected for, uh, I mean, for the period of 2011 to 2021, right? So let's come to the question. So here this question is, I mean, in the first part we have discussed from 2011 to 2014. So here we are going to discuss from 2015 to 2018, right? So first question belongs to 2015. So in this question, we have the information that in a 500 meter race, B starts 45 meters ahead of A. See everyone, the question says in a 500 meters race, this is the track of 500 meters, A starting from the very beginning but B is starting from 45 meters ahead. Fine. So let's say this is 45 and B is starting from here. All right. But A wins the race while question is, but A wins the race while B is still 35 meters behind. Okay. So when A reaches the end point of the track, B is still 35 meters behind, right? So this is 35. Okay, so it means what friends when a covers total 500 meters, I mean from the starting point to the end point, then b can cover only from this point to this point. Right. So what is the distance which b is covering when a is covering 500 meters? So this is actually what 45 here and 35 here, right? So actually b is covering what 500 minus 45 plus 35, right? So this is 500 minus 80. So that is 420, right? So when A is covering 500 meter, then B is covering 400 meters, right? A is covering 500 meters, B is covering 420 meters, I'm sorry, right? So this is the ratio of their distance traveled in the same time, right? So distance traveled in the same time, everyone. This is the ratio of the their traveled distances. Fine. So obviously, if they have traveled this this much, I mean this distance they have traveled in the same time, then obviously this will be the ratio of their speeds also. If the time is same, then obviously their speeds will be in this ratio. So their speeds are in the ratio of 500 is to 420, right? So both the numbers are divisible by. Uh, first of all, they are divisible by 10. So just cancel one zero one zero and then they are divisible by two also. So this is 25 is to 21, right? So ratio of their speed is 25 is to 21, right everyone? So this is a option is the correct choice, right? All right, simple question. Fine. Now let's move to the other one. Now the next question is the question says two cities A and B are 360 kilometers apart. A car goes from A to B with a speed of 40 kilometers per hour and returns to A with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. What is the average speed of the car? See everyone, for these type of questions, we have a direct formula for average speed, right? So there are two stations A and B, right? So a man goes, a car goes from A to B with the speed of 40 km per hour and comes back with the speed of 60 km per hour, right? And we need to find the average speed. So the formula for average speed in this case is 2AB upon A plus B km per hour, right? Where A is given as 40 and B is given as 60, right? So this is the formula that we have to use over here. So this is 2 into 40 into 60 divided by 40 plus 60, which is 100, right? So 2, 0 can be cancelled with these two zeros. So this is, uh, this is what 48 kilometer per hour. All right, everyone, this is 48 kilometer per hour. The average speed will be 48 kilometer per hour. See all of you, let me tell you one thing here. They have said they are 360 kilometers apart, right? So the distance between these two stations is given as 360 kilometer, but actually in the formula, this distance is not required, right everyone? So here in these type of questions, if even the distance is not given to you, then also you can find the average speed, right? Always please remember this, right? 
distance is not required in this formula. So if this is even this is I mean the distance is not given, then still I mean this still you can find the average speed. Fine. All right. Now let's move to the other question. Next question says, this question came in 2016. The daily train is to be introduced between station A and station B starting from each end at 6 a.m. Okay. The journey is to be completed in 42 hours. Okay. So what is the number of trains needed in order to maintain the shuttle service? See all of you, there are two stations A and B, right? There are two stations A and B and from both the stations in the morning at 6 a.m. One train starts from A towards B, another train starts from B towards A, right? And they take 42 hours to complete the entire distance, right? So, I mean, suppose that let's say today is 1st January, for example, let's say today is 1st January, right? So, let's say 1st January at 6 a.m., one train starts from A towards B, another train starts from B towards A, right? So after 24 hours, after 24 hours, this, this train will be reaching somewhere here, right? It is, it will be cover, it will be covering more than half distance and it will be somewhere here, right? So after 24 hours, this train will be somewhere here and this train, which is starting from B, this train will be somewhere here, right? Okay. So in 24 hours, I mean, in 2nd Jan at 6 a.m., this will be the situation. I mean, this train will be here somewhere and this train will be here somewhere, right? Now, in order to maintain the service, because obviously in 2nd Jan, suppose that say, if somebody wants to go from A to B, then obviously, so 2nd January, obviously on the next day also, we have to start another train, right? So from 2nd January, at 6 a.m., we have to introduce one more train from A to B and similarly from B to A, right? So, uh, on the first day, we have introduced two trains. Another day, on 2nd January, we also have to introduce two more trains in order to maintain this service, right? So, total four trains are required. All right, everyone, total four trains are required, correct? All right, fine, okay. Now let's move to the other question. Next question is A and B walk around a circular track. They start at 8 a.m. from the same point in the opposite directions. A and B walk at the speed of 2 rounds per hour and 3 rounds per hour respectively. Okay, so everyone the question is saying there is a circular track, right? and A and B are two sprinters. They are starting from the same starting point in the opposite direction. This is let's say A and this is let's say B, right? Okay, so A is walking with the speed of two rounds per hour. It is two rounds per hour and B is walking with the speed of three rounds per hour, right? Question is saying how many times they shall cross each other after 8 a.m. and before 9.30 a.m. 8 a.m. to 9.30, actually these are 1.5 hours. So question is, in how many times, I mean, how many times in 1.5 hours they will cross each other? See everyone, here the relative speed is what? Because they are traveling in opposite direction, so relative speed is what? 2 plus 3, which is 5 rounds per hour, right? Relative speed is 5 rounds per hour, right? Okay, so actually they will meet 5 times in 1 hour because the track is circular five times in one hour they will be meeting, right? So question is 1.5 hours, so 1.5 into 5, so it has to be 7.5, but 7.5, I mean 7.5 times meeting is nothing, right? So obviously it will happen seven times only, right? So meeting will take place seven times only, right? Okay, and friends, let me tell you this question by one more process. Suppose that you just, you just give all the force to one athlete only or to one person only, right? Just give all the, it, it means suppose that let's make A as a stable, just take A as a stable and give all the 
moment to B. So B is for 3 plus 2. So a speed of B will be 5 rounds per hour. Right. So now just assume A is stable at one place and B is taking 5 rounds per hour. Right. It is like this. It is like this. B is taking 5 rounds per hour. So obviously in one hour they will be meeting 5 times. Right. In one hour they will be meeting 5 times. So in 7.5 they will be meeting 7.5. I mean in, in sorry in 1.5 hours they will be meeting 1.5 into 5. So that is 7.5. 7.5 means 7. Obviously, 7.5 is nothing. So, this is 7 times they will be meeting before 9.30. Correct everyone? Fine. Okay. This was a simple question, but you have to think logically. Right. Alright. Now, please move to the next question. Next question is, this question is from 2017. Question says, a freight train left Delhi for Mumbai at an average speed of 40 km per hour. Two hours later, an express train left Delhi for Mumbai following the freight train on the parallel track at an average speed of 60 km per hour. How far from Delhi would the express train meet the freight train? Alright, see everyone, this is let's say Delhi and this is let's say Mumbai. Right. And the question is, a freight train left Delhi for Mumbai at an average speed of 40 km per hour and 2 hours later. So after 2 hours, the freight train will be here somewhere 80 km because in 2 hours it will be covering 40 into 2 which is 80 km, right? So now the freight train is somewhere here, I mean 80 km away from New Delhi and going towards Mumbai, right? With the speed of 40 km per hour. So after two hours, this is the situation. And after two hours, they are saying one more train has been started. An express train left Delhi for Bombay. So this is, let's say, express train left Delhi for Bombay at the speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Right, everyone? Okay. So here, question is saying how far away from Delhi the two trains will meet. Right. So obviously, for meeting, this express train has to cover this 80 kilometers more than the freight train in the same time right okay so just think about the relative speed of both the trains so relative speed is since both the trains are moving then obviously relative speed will come to the picture right so relative speed is what 20 kilometers per hour right and express train has to cover 80 kilometers to catch the freight train so 80 kilometer divided by 20 so this is 4 hours right so 4 hours from new delhi i mean 4 hours uh, when the express train starts in 4 hours it will catch the freight train question is asking how far away we need to find the distance so obviously in 4 hours express train is covering 4 into 60 which is 240 km right so 240 km away from delhi the two trains will meet right this is the answer c option right everyone clear it is a simple question based on the uh, relative speed right okay all right now let's move to the next question now the next question is based on i mean next question came in 2018 all right next question says a train 200 meters long so this question belongs to a uh, problem on trains right a train 200 meters long is moving at the rate of 40 kilometers per hour see everyone Train, I mean the length of the train is also uh, is given to you and speed is also given to you, right? Question is how many seconds it will, in how many seconds it will cross a man is standing near the railway line. See everyone, when the train crosses the man, it covers the distance which is equal to its own length, right? So obviously here the train has to cover 200 meters with the speed of 40 kilometers per hour, right? So here, this is the time that we need to find, right everyone? So 200 divided by 40. And now we have to convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second. So this is 5 by 18, right? So now this is what 40 into 5 is what? 40 into 5 is 200. 200, 200 gets cancelled. So this is 18 seconds. All right, everyone. The answer is 18 seconds, right? Okay, simple question, right? 
you should know the concept that when the train crosses the man, it covers the distance which is equal to its own length, right? All right, now let's move to the next question. Next question is, again from 2018 question paper, question is saying two persons A and B are running on a circular track, okay? At the start, B is ahead of A, B is ahead of A and their positions make an angle of 30 degree at the center of the circle, all right? When A reaches the point diametrically opposite to his starting point, he meets B. See everyone, they are saying the situation is like this. Let's say this is, this is the circle. I mean, I'm just using the same circle, the upper half, right? So A is standing here and B is standing ahead of A somewhere here, right? The positions of A and B are making an angle 30 degree to the center of the circle, right everyone, fine. And B is starting from here, A is starting from here, right? A is starting from here going towards this direction and B is starting from here going towards this direction. So question is saying when A is reaching to its diametrically opposite point, B is also reaching to the diametrically opposite point because A and B are meeting at this point, right? So everybody, when A is, I mean, this total angle, this total angle is what? This total angle is 180 degree, right? So when A is making 180 degree to its starting position, right? From his starting position, when A is making 180 degree, right? He is reaching to the diametrically opposite point. But what about B? What about B? B is what? B is making only 150 degree angle because 30 degrees already covered. So B is making only 150 degree angle, right? So when A is covering 180 degree, B is covering only 150 degree. This is the ratio of their speeds because they are taking the same time, right? So find the ratio of their speeds. So ratio is five is to, sorry, six is to five. Right, everyone, this is six is to five, right? So the ratio of their speeds are six is to five. See everyone, this is a very logical question. You have to think very logically. This question does not belong to any time speed distance or any mathematical, I mean, uh, concept. You just have to think logically to solve these type of questions, right? And UPSC always demands your logical approach. That's it. They don't want your mathematical skills. I mean, they just want your logical approach, your presence of mind, your smartness actually, they, they actually, they just want. Fine, all right. Guys, now it is the time to discuss about our offerings, what Unjust offers you guys. So we have some programs related to CSAT only, right? And let me discuss those programs in detail. So first program is CSAT Foundation program. This is actually CSAT Foundation program. This is a long-term program for CSAT, right? So those who are targeting like after two years or after one year, so they can join this program, right? And then CSAT PYQ program. CSAT PYQ program is a very targeted program that we have designed here. We have collected all the questions that came in CSAT from 2011 to 2021. And we have segregated those questions topic wise and concepts wise, right? So we are discussing all those questions. And obviously, we are discussing the concepts that are coming through those questions in the CSAT examination. Fine. So we have discussed all the concepts through questions. So actually, we are teaching in this program through PYQs only, right? So here you are getting like which type of questions are coming from the, from the certain topic. And moreover, here we have discussed some other dimensions of those questions also. I mean, which type of questions may further asked, I mean, may be asked further related to this topic or a, or a particular topic. Fine. So this is CSAT PYQ program. And then CSAT crash course. Those two, I mean, those students who don't have much time, or those who have less time, they can join this program. I mean, we have crash course for two months, for 50 days or for uh, uh, one month also, right? So you can join according to your availability and your convenience, fine. And then CSAT weekend batch. This batch we have designed for uh, working professional candidates, those who don't have time in weekdays, they may join this program, right? It is a very beneficial program for those candidates, those who are, I mean, those who don't have time in weekdays basically, fine. 
and then see that test series along with the discussion. See everyone, this is again a very good and targeted program that we have designed. Here, we have, I mean, we have designed the questions which are strictly based on the recent pattern of CSAT. Fine. Because here, obviously, if you compare the paper of last two years from other papers, then you will see the drastic change, right? So, obviously, we have designed the questions based on that only. Okay. So, this is a very good program. And obviously, the discussion is also very important. Fine how to tackle the paper, how to eliminate the options. This is actually very important. How to read the question properly, right? So this discussion is also very important. And after that, we have a free program in our Telegram, five star question series in Telegram. See everyone, what is this five star Telegram? I mean, five star question series in Telegram. Here, we upload five questions every day in our Telegram channel, okay? And we discuss those questions sometimes in Telegram and sometimes in our website, fine? Here, you may take those five questions every day to get the momentum. I mean, till the examination, you may just get connected uh, with the questions for CSAT. Just take five questions every day and uh, I mean, maintain your momentum till the examination. So this is a very, I mean, very beneficial program for the students. So guys, please get benefited out of it, right? Join this program. And let me introduce about our uh, contact details. So friends, we have a Telegram channel the link for the same is telegram slash ungist, right? So this is our telegram channel and our website is ungist.com, right? And if you guys want to talk to us, then we have a very simple number 9613192021, right? Again, 9613192021. It's a very simple and convenient number, right? Easy to learn, in fact. And let me tell you something about our classes. So we have offline classes. Offline classes we have in ORN, Old Rajinder Nagar, New Delhi, right? So if you want to join our offline classes, you may contact us and you may come to offline classes which are in ORN, right? And we also have online classes. So online classes, I mean, uh, you just get the link and you may start your lectures, right? Uh, just by contacting us, fine. So friends, so these are the details that I wanted to discuss with you guys, right? And Please uh, stay tuned for very good content. We guys are working for you day in, day out, right? And please share these videos with your friends also so that they may also get benefited out of it, right? So thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you. Thank you so much.